Spanish. So I had some technological issues and boat issues when I was on the river. And this is the only fish I caught in like two hours of fishing. And I caught it on the chartreuse twister tail that was in the MTB walleye box on the blade jig from the MTB walleye box that I got. And I lost another smiley. And that was it what I caught this day. And I decided to keep it because I'm trying to do a catch and cook of anything that's legal to keep in Wisconsin. So here's another species. Largemouth. I have another catch and cook I'm doing. And I'll probably do a largemouth bass catch and cook or pike or sand sturgeon or something else soon. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more catch and cooks. And for smallmouth bass, I usually just fillet over the rib cage. Pretty simple and straightforward, easy way to clean them. And this one had eggs, and I thought I couldn't waste great fish eggs, so I decided to make some caviar from it. And I've never actually tried to make caviar before, but my one Romanian friend I knew would make caviar from pike eggs, so I tried making it from bass eggs to see how it tastes. And if you watch the rest of the video, you'll find out how it tasted. Here's another one, and we even have some caviar. We better try the caviar. Yeah, we better try some smallmouth caviar. Mmm. That's delicacy. I'm not a big caviar fan. But we got this nice bass caviar. So I'll have to look up some caviar recipe quick. bass caviar we just need to think make some salt water the other recipe was for a lot more so I'm gonna just make a lot smaller batch so we're gonna take some salt some iodized salt and put like an eighth of a cup into this bowl and then we're gonna dissolve the salt in this bowl and put the eggs in there Then we're gonna some, put some water. There's their nice bass eggs. Let's have to see how this tastes. I shoot a lot of them are falling through. That's not good. These are not very big. And there we have our bass caviar. The recipe said to add olive oil to the thing, and I just added like a teaspoon of this. I should have added a little more, added too much to it, but it was still good. It made it taste a lot better. We need a little spoon to serve it with. I'm going to use a big spoon.
And now I need to try some of this bass caviar. Let's try it. Here's what it looks like. Tastes a lot better once you add a bunch of salt and olive oil to it. Mm. So here's the bass. I cut it up into chunks. Let me throw some. Water. And then we some deep fry it. Actually, then we can fry some of those onions too. So here's some flour. Here's some Bud Light Platinum. This is going to be some good batter. Because it's Platinum Bud Light. Then we'll put in some onion powder. Some pepper. And some salt. Now you need a spoon to mix it up. So here's their batter. We can get the fish in this batter. Put it in the deep fryer. So we need to eat some of that caviar on the cracker. So let's be classy and enjoy our caviar. And we better have our fancy Bud Light, premium Bud Light with us. crackers and this bass caviar. Mmm. That is some good stuff. Mm. That is delicacy. I didn't put a little too much oil with them, but it's still pretty good. And I think the bass is done. Mm, that looks good, that's some good stuff. And that's why you put bass. 